One of the major things that has struck me in operating the Flying Angel is the amount of loneliness and isolation that seafarers face. It's a feeling of isolation, it's a feeling also of the way that shipping has changed in that turnaround times in port are so very quick there's very little time, if no time, to get shore leave when they do touch base. And the stories of being away from home and almost feeling sometimes as though they're imprisoned. But what was fundamentally important to the seafarers was to have the basic communication that we would have on shore. They wanted to phone their families, they wanted to use the internet, they wanted to buy small gifts or even just a, a different flavoured type of toothpaste. So I hit on the idea that it would be much better if we as a seafarers society went out to visit them. And this is really where Flying Angel began. One day, while visiting a ship, Reverend Miller was approached by a Philippine seafarer who asked to borrow his cell phone. He had left the Philippines four months ago and was worried about his pregnant wife. Stephen handed over his phone. The seafarer quickly phoned home and found out he was the proud father of a baby boy. One phone call turned this worried and anxious seafarer into a happy and thus much safer member of the crew. The feedback from seafarers using the Flying Angel has been very positive. Often it's been, why can't we stay longer? Uh, they said to me, uh, when Flying Angel is coming, we're staying, oh, our life coming now. We can, uh, what do you call it, we can buy something, making call, by telephone card, uh, sometimes chatting. And that's why if Flying Angel is coming, you see all people heavy. Many of the seafarers on board ships in Fujaira Anchorage do not get the opportunity to go ashore. It is too costly for the seafarers or their companies to even consider shore leave. The seafarers remain on board their ships off the coast of Fujaira, many without the basic onboard facilities that one takes for granted. As a result, it is common for seafarers to go through long periods of isolation and loneliness unable to communicate with family and friends at home. The Flying Angel is the first purpose-built seafarer's support vessel in the world. She goes out into the Fujaira anchorage every day during daylight hours and brings the thousands of seafarers out there a small taste of home. They can step off their ships, sometimes for the first time in many months, and Skype or call home, send an email, look at pictures of family and friends on the internet, read a newspaper, buy a souvenir from the small shop, or take a DVD or book from the free library. On average, she welcomes aboard 75 seafarers a day, which means that since her work began in 2007, over 80,000 seafarers have benefited from her services. Flying Angel is not looking if you are Muslim, you are Christian, you don't have any religions. Maybe you are white men, you are black, you are from Africa, from India. No, you get everything equal for all nations and for all seamen. In a joint effort with the Anglican Church, the Catholic Church provides pastoral care to the seafarers on board the Flying Angel with a chaplain that visits vessels and, when invited, celebrates the Eucharist and hears confessions. The vast majority of Christian seafarers are Catholic. Most of the time, what these lonely men at sea need the most is somebody to talk to, somebody who can hear their concerns, fears, their longings for their families, homeland and dear ones. Many people don't realise how large the anchorage is off the east coast of the United Arab Emirates. And at any one time, 
there can be over a hundred vessels calling in the anchorage. In terms of seafarers, that might mean up to 3,000 seafarers are floating at sea off the East Coast at any one time. Some of these men spend over eight months without mass or any other religious liturgy or prayer service. They feel comforted on boarding the Flying Angel and praying the Rosary. Living in such extreme situations, their faith becomes more relevant to them, particularly so in the solidarity they experience with other fellow men. One hundred percent. You need you need more uh, fly, similar or flying angel. Flying angel is the first of its kind. Hopefully, the idea will catch on. Hopefully, we can build more vessels to provide more welfare services for seafarers at sea. And we must support them.